Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people of all ages, how are you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and I first off would like to welcome you guys to our Shaders Mod tutorial for 1.7.10 with Optifine included. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. A couple things that you're going to need is you're going to need Java. You should already have that on your computer, so you should be good to go. If you have WinRAR, I'm in a little bit I'm going to explain how to get rid of the Renoir side so you can use the Java side in a little bit later. So without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is in the comments description below, I will have three links for you guys. One will be the actual mod shader itself, the other one will be Optifine, and then finally will be the mod shaders. So without further ado, we're going to go into the very first link and click on that bad boy so I have it open right here let's make this a little bigger for you guys so the first thing is the shader mod v2 3.18 so once you've got that once you're there you're gonna scroll down now you have a couple options you can go with forge or you can go without forge for today we're gonna be doing non forge so you're gonna click either link 1 or link 2 so we're gonna click link 1 and wait for that then an ad fly is gonna pop up and we're gonna kick click skip add when it shows up okay right here skip add and then the download will begin now you want to make sure that your ad blocker is actually removed so that you can download it otherwise the skip ad won't be here so once you hit download it will pop up right here and you can just drag that right to your desktop so then you can close out of that window and open up the second link which is Optifine downloads so once you're at Optifine you have 1.7.10 with all of these options so the thing we're gonna want to do is this Optifine HD Ultra and you're gonna click the very first one which is right here not the mirror but the download so it's Optifine 1.7.10 HD UA4 okay so you're gonna click download then it's gonna take you to an ad fly once again Make sure your ad blocker is still off so that you can have this final say. Then you're gonna click skip ad and it's gonna come to it's gonna come it's gonna bring you to another site. Yep, so it's gonna bring you to this optifine.net. And then when you click this little guy right here, this download, don't click on the ads, just click right here, and then it will be right here on your desktop or on your downloads, and then drag that to your desktop. So then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually download the shaded rigs itself. So today we're going to be using Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on his. If you have any questions regarding the mod, the tutorial itself, ask him. He's the one who actually came up with the lovely shader itself. Also, he also has a tutorial down here. So if you are at all familiar or if you all don't understand how I'm explaining it, feel free to check out him down here on his official site. So. You're going to have this, and what we need to do is we need to scroll down to where it says right here, download. So the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders Shader Pack for the Shader Mod. And we're going to download the standard version. So we're going to click on this, the standard version, and it's going to come to an ad fly again. So you're going to wait the little five second countdown, click the skip ad, and it's going to come to your download, and then you just drag that to your desktop. So, now that we're all done with all three of those, we can get those out of the way. And now we have this at the moment. So, one thing you're going to want to do is open up your Minecraft. Wait for your Minecraft to load. Once your Minecraft is loaded, you're going to go to Edit Profile. Then Open Game Directory. And here, you're going to want to right click and go New Folder. And create a Shader Pack folder. So, it's going to be just like this. It's going to say shader packs with an S and then you're just going to have that folder sitting in your dot Minecraft. So that allows that you can add all your different shaders that you want. For instance, as we are using the Seuss, you can also use many of the other shader options. So once you've got that done, you can exit out of your Minecraft, exit out of both of these. And now you have your three varieties. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Optifine. Now, as, as you can see, mine has this WinRAR option. So what we're going to do is you're not going to want WinRAR to open it. Because if you do, it's just going to come to this, and that's not what you want. So what you're going to want to do is click Exit, go right-click, Open With, and this Java Platform SE Binary. Okay? So you're going to click on that, 
And then it's going to say, this installer will install Optifine for their official Minecraft launcher and will create a new profile, Optifine, for use. So you're going to click install, and then it says Optifine is successfully installed. So once you've got that done, now you're going to do the exact same thing to your shader mod installer. So right click, open with the binary, click install to the user above the block data roaming dot minecraft, yes. And then it's going to say version 1.7.10 would now like to be shaders mod. And you're also going to add this profile to the Optifine. So you have a shaders Optifine together mod. And I'll explain that just in a second. So once you've got that done, you are all good to go on that side. And you're going to open up your Minecraft, wait for it to load. And once you're here, it now created a new profile for you that says Optifine as well as Shaders. So this is Optifine and Shaders together as one. Now it did also create two other profiles for you. It created just an Optifine profile. So if you just want to play regular Minecraft, you now have Optifine. It also created a Shaders mod without Optifine. So if you didn't like Optifine for some reason and you thought it was slowing you down, you could actually just use it right here, 1.7.10 Shaders mod without Optifine. But we're actually going to use the 1.7.10 with Shaders and the mod. So once you're there, you're going to click play. Okay, so once your Minecraft is loaded, you can actually exit out of the launcher in the background. And now you have your Minecraft. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your options onto the bottom left. And then right here it says shaders. Click on that. And now at the moment you have absolutely none. You have no shaders. So what you're going to want to do is open shader packs folder. So that's the one that we created in the very beginning. And you're going to open that. And at the moment there's nothing in it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to drag that SUS file into here. As well as any other shaders types that you want. So once you've got that done you could have a whole list and then you click this Minecraft in the background and now we see that we have the shaders mod right here the shaders pack so once we've got that done you're all good to go now these are a couple little things that you guys can t I highly just recommend typing in what I have um, I'm not entirely sure on a lot of these these cloud shadows just um, it creates a shadow of itself the Minecraft has it automatically the old lighting is with the Minecraft so you don't want to change that so some of this other stuff, this is the rendering, the shadows. I highly don't recommend messing with a lot of this. Just get these settings. I'll pause for a sec. And once you have those, you guys should be good to go. Okay, so now you're going to click done. Done. And then I highly, 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 for the fourth link down in the below, there will be the Chrome's Hill shader or the Chrome Hill um, resource pack. This is very good when and it benefits with shaders. So I'm going to leave you guys with that and you guys can have the Chrome Hills for yourself right down and use it whenever you'd like. So I'm going to click done, get out of here. Okay, so once you have your sh resource pack all ready to go, you are going to go to your shaders and we're going to set it all up for you guys. So you have your SUS activated. Now we're going to go single player in a creative world and I can show you guys what I mean by the rest of our mod. Okay, so let's get this a little bigger for you. It's going to be running a little slow, only because I haven't done this for a while on my computer, and it's going to be a little bit bad. So the world's got to load a little bit. But as you can see, we now have the shaders pack as well as the resource pack. Hopefully it loads a little bit better for you guys. At the moment, like I said, it's slow for me. But look at the sun. Everything is shining. The water is all crystallized it is amazing so this is the shader pack as well as the resource pack chrome hills here is a little quick rundown of some of the textures as you can see so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you have any other further questions please do me a favor click that in the comment box comment all yours if I can't help, Google is your best friend. So in any situation, Google will help you as much as they can. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please do me a favor, click that like button. If you're brand new to my channel, please do me a favor, another big favor, and click that subscribe button. Also, please don't forget to wash your hands. Bye now.